hello everyone welcome back actually i haven't written the problem here let me make it very clear to you with the help of diagram i'll dictate the problem and you can write that also okay please take out your pen and notebook and write down this problem then we'll solve it the problem is like this three charges each of let me write that then i'll rub three charges each of 8 coulomb are placed 8 coulomb are placed on the corners on the corners of a square of side 4 cm okay find the amount of work find the amount of work done to bring to bring a charge of to bring a charge of 3 nano coulomb placed at last corner last corner to the center of the square center of the square okay please write down this problem then i will uh, help you with the diagram and the solution and all okay three charges each of 8 coulomb are placed on the corners of a square of side 4 centimeter find the amount of work done to bring a charge of 3 nano coulomb placed at the last corner to the center of the square okay anyhow i am rubbing this off then we'll start solving this i have taken it as 4 centimeter no so let's make it as 4 meter so that calculation will be little the square side is 4 meter it will be easy no to do this because there is lot of calculation usually they won't ask for centimeter and all they will give meter only if they give centimeter also you can convert it into meter that's a simple thing but we'll take it as 4 meter okay let us solve this problem how to do this first let us draw the diagram see here here is a square and let's let's name the corners as a b c d a b is 4 meter then b c is 4 meter and all the sides are equal all are 4 now at a i have 8 coulomb at b i have 8 coulomb at c also 8 coulomb these are the three charges i have and at d i have 3 nano coulomb okay so a b c these are the three corners and i have to bring this charge at d that is 3 nano coulomb to the center what is the meaning of center center means here is the center o yes or no diagonals wherever they meet here i have to bring the charge so whatever the amount of work is being done to bring this charge of 3 nano coulomb from this point to this point that's what you need to calculate that is work done to bring the charge of 3 nano coulomb from point d to point o this is what we need to calculate yes or no now why i have to do the work you tell me from here to here, I have to do the work now. Why? Because there is a potential difference between these two points. There is a potential difference. The potential at D is VD. Potential at O is VO. VD and VO. There is a difference now. VO is greater. VO potential is greater. VD potential is less. That's why I have to do the work. What is the formula for this? VDO is equal to, what is the formula? VO minus VD into Q. Now you must be confused. Where did this formula came from? Let us try to understand this. For example, I have point A. I have point B. And here is the potential VA. Here is the potential VB. If vb is greater than va if vb is greater than va see here here is the potential va here is the potential vb it is greater vb is greater if i want to take a charge of q coulomb q coulomb from here to here i have to do some work how much work i have to do i have to do work from a to b work done from a to b is equal to potential of b minus potential of a whatever potential is there into q basically i have this formula yes or no because here v is equal to what is the formula w divided by q w equal to what will be the formula vq yes or no vq this is good when the charge is at infinity but now charge is not at infinity it is at a point that's why actually this v is also v infinity minus v into q what is v infinity it is zero no yes or no 
so that's why okay that those are the theoretical things which you might you might have studied in your theory classes and all that we are not concentrating on so now to be uh, very precise the potential at o is more the potential at d is less so that's why vo minus vd this is a potential difference and i have to take this three coulomb here now three coulomb three nano coulomb that's why i have to do the sum work okay i hope it's clear so now i have q what is the value of q three nano coulomb three, uh, that is three into ten raised to minus nine coulomb now what i don't have is vo and vd i need to calculate what is vo and vd let us try to calculate it very simple okay vo we can calculate very easily let us calculate vo what is vo potential at o due to charges at a b and c we should not take this this is a test charge we are taking this so that's why it becomes va plus vb plus vc see here a will produce the charge at a will produce some potential here b also produces some potential c also pro produces some potential here yes or no there are three potentials no and charges are same and these distances are also equal a o b o c o will calculate that also that's why instead of this i can write 3 va why because va is equal to vb is equal to vc this is the thing i have okay now i have to calculate va so i have to calculate for that a o a o b o c o what are the value of a o b o and c o let us try to calculate that see here a d c is a right angle triangle now a d c so it is 4 meter and here also it is 4 meter so it becomes a under root 4 square plus 4 square that's going to be under root 16 plus 16 that will be under root 32 meter yes or no this total will be under root 32 meter half of that will be root 32 divided by 2 meter yes or no a o b o c o all are same i hope you are getting this and it can be written as under root 16 into 2 divided by 2 meter and it becomes 4 root 2 divided by 2 meter okay so 2 ones are 2 twos are so it has become 2 root 2 meter now i have got a o b o and c o now i have to calculate v naught let us calculate v naught please take out your notebook and pen please write all this so that i can have some space to solve other things okay fine now v naught is equal to what is the formula 3 va we had no okay good so 3 into what is va potential at o due to a okay what is the value of this 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught what is the charge 8 coulomb divided by what is the distance distance was 2 root 2 right 2 root 2 meter only so 2 1 sir 2 4 sir so it has become 3 into 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 raised to 9 into 4 divided by root 2 what is this old okay you do calculations and all uh, 3 4 are 12 12 9 are 108 and all all that you do and you uh, root 2 is 1.41 you calculate let us take it as x volt don't try it as x volt in exam you take some value v naught i got x volt you calculate this first okay then we'll proceed with the problem pause the video please calculate okay okay fine i hope it is done so we are going forward so i got v naught as x volt now i need to calculate what i need to calculate i need to calculate vd what is vd tell me potential at point d due to a b and c yes or no so let me write it as va plus vb plus vc now i cannot take 3 va because this distance is okay 4 meter and this is also 4 meter but this changes here see here bd the distance is changing that's why i can take what i will take va means it becomes a what it becomes a 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught charge is 8 divided by what is the distance 4 this one i can take 8 divided by 4 at d okay then plus what is vb vb see here here is a b i need to calculate bd i know the bd distance what that we calculated now root 32 bd was root 32 ac was root 32 that's why bd is also root 32 here also 4 and 4 under root 4 square plus 4 square that is under root 32 okay so it becomes a 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught what is the charge here 8 coulomb divided by what is the distance that is root 32 root 32 root 32 can be written as 4 root 2 we know about that okay that's why i'm writing that 
C calculation part you have to take care a little bit. Now due to C, what I have to write? 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Then it becomes 8 divided by what is the distance? 4. Okay. You can uh, take out what is the common here? 8 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught is common. No? So 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 8. In bracket, I got 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 root 2 plus 1 divided by 4 again. Yes or no? See here, we got this value now, 8 is common, 1 by 4 pi epsilon is common. So, it becomes 9 into 10 raised to 9 into 8 and let us calculate this value. Okay, what will be the LCM? LCM will be 4 root 2. Okay, into root 2, into 1, then into root 2. So, it becomes root 2 plus 1 plus root 2. Okay, so like that, what, what will be the value? 9, it's a 72, 72 into 10 raised to 9. I'm making it very simple. I can write directly y also here because this is your task. So it becomes, what it becomes? 1 plus, in bracket 1 plus 2 root 2 divided by 4 root 2. You substitute all these values, you will get some value called y volt. However, it is simple to you, you calculate. Whatever basic mathematics knowledge you have, accordingly you calculate. So I got Vd as y. <coughs> Yes or no? Please again pause the video and solve it and find out. Instead of root 2, you can substitute 1.414 and use your calculator, then calculate all this. Okay, fine. So, Vd is equal to y volt I got. Okay, very good. Now, I want to calculate work done. See here, this is the main thing. Work done to bring a charge from D to O. So, that's going to be V0 minus Vd into Q. What is V0? X. What is Vd? Why? We calculated. You have to put the numerical value. Okay. Into. What is the charge? Charge already we have 3 nano coulomb. That is 3 into 10 raised to minus 9 coulomb. Okay. And this is potential. No. This is going to be joule per coulomb. And this is charge coulomb. Coulomb coulomb will cancel. And you will get Z joule. X and Y have taken. That's why I am taking Z also. So, what is the work done? Z joule. Don't write x, y, z in each and every video. I am telling the same thing. Calculation part you have to do and you have to get the answer for that. Okay. Is that clear? I hope uh, this problem is understood to you. Okay. Let me give you some insight on this. Let me give you some insight on this. What is the insight? The main insight on potential is here. For example, I have one point here. I have one point. Okay, let me call this as point A and this is VA. And there is a charge at infinity. Charge at infinity. What will be the potential at infinity? Zero, right? Yes or no? Because we don't know. That charge is there at very far. So that's why potential is zero. Now I want to bring a charge from here to here. The charge of Q from here to here. I have to do some work, right? What will be the work done? Work done to bring a charge from infinity to point A. I need to calculate this. Work done to bring a charge from infinity to point A. Why I have to do some work here? Because here potential is less. Here potential is more. So that's why work done to bring a charge from infinity to A will become potential difference between A and potential difference between Potential difference at A and potential difference between infinity divided by, not divided by, into Q. This is the work done. Yes or no? Tell me. Now, let us take one more approach here. Here is the point A and here is the point B. This is not at infinity. Here is the potential VA. Here is the potential VB. Now, if I take VA is greater than VB, here potential is more. That's why I have to do some work to bring a charge of Q from here to here. I have to do some work. What is the work done? Work done to bring a charge from B to A. I need to calculate that. B to A. Okay. So, tell me what will be the formula. Work done to bring a charge from B to A will be potential difference between A and B. That is VA minus VB into Q. <sighs> okay. 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 Fine. You need to understand this. This is very important. This infinity concept and this one. What it becomes uh, ultimately? VA, VA, VA it remains and VA, V infinity is 0. So that's why it becomes a VA into Q. That's from uh, when you are bringing a charge from infinity. There is no hassle here. 
you have to use the formula directly but whenever two charges are here what happened in the square in the square there were four charges 8 coulomb 8 coulomb 8 coulomb and here 3 nano coulomb actually these three charges are producing a potential here also and here also there is a potential difference between these two now that's why we calculated like that okay i hope you like the video and you understood all the concept all the best for your exam have a good day